I want to remind you of a challenge that some of you accepted that at the beginning of this year. In, in January, the very first Sunday of this year, I asked you two questions. I asked you, would you like to ask God for a fresh encounter? And the other question was, would you accept the win one in 2020 challenge? That was around two and a half months ago. So I thought some of you might want to re-up, uh, just be reminded of the challenge and others might like to accept that challenge. Um, I have a list of 45 names who said that they wanted to accept the win one 2020 challenge. And I have a list of 34 names who were asking God on that day for a, a fresh encounter. And I don't pray for those lists every day, but I do go back and I pull those lists out and I pray for those lists on a regular basis. And so if you want me to add you to, to my list, you can send me a text at 914 and I'll add you to one of those lists. And I, I just wanted to remind you this morning of, uh, of, of that first challenge, um, that fresh encounter challenge. We all need a fresh encounter on a regular basis. Jesus once said, if you want to be my disciple, you have to deny yourself, take up your cross daily and follow me. Now, what does that mean? What are the implications of what it means to carry your cross, to take up your cross those who took up their cross or those who carried their cross did so because they were ordered to. They were under the authority of a, of a power uh, that said, take up this cross. And in that moment, they were doing what was very difficult to do because they were ordered to do that. So it might mean a lot of things, and I'm sure there's a lot of directions that we could go, but to deny myself and to carry my cross is to say to God that the old me is gone the old me is dead, and, and whatever it means for me to carry my cross, um, I'm going to die to myself. I'm going to put your will first, and I'm, I'm willing to do that. Now, what Jesus actually said wasn't just take up your cross or carry your cross. He said take up your cross daily. Daily. Why? Because we all need a fresh encounter on a regular basis. In Ephesians 5, verses 18 through 20, it says, Don't be drunk with wine, because that will ruin your life. Instead, be filled with the Holy Spirit, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs among yourselves and making music to the Lord in your hearts. And give thanks for everything to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, different versions say this differently. The NLT says, don't be drunk, be filled. But people don't be drunk anyway, as, as if it's a passive thing that is, that is uh, happening to them. If, if someone gets a DUI, the bartender doesn't get the ticket. The drunk person does. He gets the ticket. Drunk doesn't just happen to him. He chose to get drunk. And, and the word get works equally well here and perhaps is a, a better translation. And some phrases use that word get. It says don't get drunk which indicates some action that the person took. Now, contrasted with getting drunk is being filled with the Spirit. And the word for filled in the Greek is in the same tense as the word for drunk in the Greek. It's in the present tense, which would indicate an ongoing experience. In other words, it's correct to read this verse like this. Do not get drunk because that will ruin your life. Instead, get filled. Or maybe even better, continually do not get drunk, but continually get filled. We need to continually get filled. We need to take up our cross daily. We need a fresh encounter. But here's what we need to realize. It, it's not passive. We don't just sit around and wait for God to give us a fresh encounter. We don't wait for God to give us an emotional experience that we can call a fresh encounter. We have to seek him daily. We're not just sitting around being. Instead, sometimes we are getting. Ephesians 5 does give us some ideas of how to do that. Verse 19 says, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs among yourselves and making music to the Lord in your hearts and give thanks for everything to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So spend some time worshiping God. Spend some time reflecting on how great God is and spend some time talking to him and being thankful for who he is and for what he has done for us. And when we do that, not every now and then, but every day, take him, taking up our cross daily, continually being filled, that's when we really learn what it means 
to have a fresh encounter with God. So if you want to have a fresh encounter with God, let me just ask you this question. What are you doing? What are you doing to, to have that fresh encounter with God? Y'all have a great day.